box. Hard, soft, smooth, and rough. Written by Natalie M. Rosinski. The story of rocks. See the rock at your feet? Pick it up. Hold it in your hands. Is it smooth and sparkly? Is it soft and sandy? Is it marked with the shape of a shell? Look closely at a rock and you can learn its story. Some rocks are four billion years old. Think of all the stories that rocks can tell. A lot of things can happen to rocks. They can crack. They can break into a million tiny pieces. They can be pressed or squeezed together. Rocks can even melt. Pools of hot, melted rock hide deep inside the earth. The ground underneath oceans, fields, beaches, and forests is rock. You might see specks or large stripes of different colors in your rock. These specks and stripes are different kinds of minerals. Minerals are the basic building blocks of rocks. Rubies and diamonds are minerals. People carve them into gems that sparkle in necklaces and rings. Diamonds are the hardest natural thing in the world. Diamonds are so strong, they can even cut through steel. Igneous rocks. Rocks form in three ways. In the first way, melted rocks bubble up from inside the earth. Then it cools down and becomes hard igneous rock. If your rock looks like black glass, it may be obsidian. Obsidian is an igneous rock that bubbled up from the inside of the earth and cooled off above the ground. Rough, freckled granite is an igneous rock that cooled underground. Sedimentary rocks. Rocks also form when sand and other natural things are squeezed together until they turn hard. This second kind of rock is called sedimentary rock. These rocks are a little softer than igneous rocks. Plants, animal bodies, shells, sand, and chips of other rock pile on top of the bottom of oceans and rivers. This mixture is called sediment. As the mixture piles up, it gets heavy, and the sediment at the bottom gets squeezed together. It turns harder and harder until it's rock, sedimentary rock. This rock can take millions of years to form. Cliffs and canyons, you can sometimes see different layers of sediment. Some layers are as tall as skyscrapers. If you see grains of crumbly sand in your rock, it might be sandstone. Dull and gritty sandstone is a sedimentary rock made of sand, red, brown, green, or yellow. If you see squiggles and bumps from little shells and skeletons in your rock, it might be limestone. Limestone is another sedimentary rock. It's made of shells from oceans and animals that lived a long time ago. Today, people use limestone to make sidewalks and buildings. Some Native Americans once lived in homes in sandstone cliffs. Some sedimentary rocks tell stories about the past, stories of forgotten forests and vanished seas. They tell tales of creatures that swam and slithered and crept. Fossils are made from plants and animals that died thousands or millions of years ago the plants and animals became buried in the layers of sediment. Over time, they turned into rock. Metamorphic rocks. The third kind of rock is made from other rocks. Heat and pressure deep inside the earth can change rocks from one kind to another. Metamorphic rocks can come from igneous or sedimentary rock. After time, the heat and pressure can even turn a metamorphic rock into a new metamorphic rock. If your rock is hard and full of colorful swirls, it might be marble. Marble is a metamorphic rock made from limestone that cooked inside the earth. Rocks are all around you. Rocks lie at your feet or sit silently by the river's edge. Rocks make a giant cliff, a magnificent building, or a grand sculpture. Rocks can hang around your neck or sparkle on your fingers. Look closely at them. What stories do these rocks tell?